Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 3 of this video series. In the part 2 we just discuss about the IAM user and the root user. So let's discuss about the EC2. First we will be looking into the definition of EC2 and then we will be creating a Windows uh, server by using this service EC2. And uh, let's discuss that what is EC2. So EC2 means Elastic Compute Cloud. I repeat EC2 means Elastic Compute Cloud. Basically, it is a computing service provided by the Amazon. And by using this service, we can eliminate uh, the our investment in the hardware. Like if we need to deploy any application, so we need a server. Like if I have a website and I need to deploy it somewhere, so I need, I need to have a web server. So by using the cloud EC2 service, uh, I will be eliminating or saving my investment uh, to invest in the uh, physical hard, uh, hardware or going to buy a physical servers. So I will go to the cloud AWS and will take the service uh, this one. So let's start this. What is this EC2? We will be doing the practical work in this video. We will not be going the very th theoretically. So I already have used the service that is why it is displaying in the recently. Let's click on that. Okay, I have, uh, you can see that um, I have two instances running and this is my IAM user which I created in the last video and currently I am working in the Karachi so Mumbai is the nearest data center uh, from the Karachi so I just selected the zone so make sure always select to the nearest for deploying your site or your application so Mumbai is nearest to me so I will be creating a instant let's click on this instances all right you can have a look that i already have a two uh, instance running one is for windows and other was is linux uh, for making this tutorial i will be creating a new instance launch uh, instance let's click on this for creating a new instance first you will need to provide the name and the tags so what is this tag if you really want to know the information you can have a look that this uh, info hyperlink you will click and the, uh, this uh, side information will be displayed you can read this a tag is a label that you assign to an AWS resource as you saw in my previous uh, screen I have these tags here so uh, this will make me to identify that which server is this which server this is the Linux one this is the Windows one so this will be uh, this tag will be helping me so let's create a web server for the Windows let's make it win Windows oops dash staging easy to dash staging okay and I will be selecting the application. This is Amazon uh, machine image AMI. Uh, you can say AMI are the pre-configured template for your instances. Uh, that means you don't need to configure lots of things like what will be my uh, RAM and memory and everything. So all the things is pre-configured. So I will be selecting the windows here from now. And this is for the free tier eligible. If your requirements is slightly high, you can select any other thing. So you will have to pay for that. For now, I'm okay with the free tier eligible. And next is the instance type. You can have a look that the instant type is T2 micro. And it's also free tier eligible. And this is a one vCPU, one GB memory. Uh, all right. So let's create a key pair so this will be helping us when we will be connecting to the RDP through the RDP to the server so let's create this win nose dash testing server so it created a PAM file and download it so we need to make sure that this file uh, remains in the safe safe place do not share with this file with anyone 
now come back uh, to the scroll down it's network setting here so I have uh, two options select existing security group and create security group so I will be creating for you now uh, first what basically what is the security group security groups are like a firewall so you configured all the security things like uh, your application will can your application be accessible on public IP or and can anyone use outside your network so you can uh, configure all the things uh, from this network setting here so it's like a firewall uh, allow RDP traffic and for now I will be selecting allow HTTPS and HTTP also because I want to access it from anywhere so I will not be making it custom or from to my IP and there is another option of the advanced detail but we will not be covering that uh, right now we will be seeing that later let's click on the launch instance that's enough for creating uh, an instance for the windows you have to wait uh, for a few minutes till this uh, server gets start so let's click on the view all instant you see our new windows ec2 uh, server is getting ready in the instance state is in the pending that means uh, you can have a look that status check is initializing so let's wait for a few minutes I am pausing the video alright so we have successfully uh, created uh, our first uh, Windows EC2 instance so I will be creating uh, I will be connecting to this EC2 instance through the RDP and we need to wait a few more minutes for this initialization check once it is done we can further proceed okay once uh, let's try to connect it through the uh, RDP <coughs> let's click on this connect option but before clicking on the connect make sure you have selected uh, this checkbox so this is my staging one yes which I created just create it so let's click on the connect and here I uh, you can have a look that went from connect to instance with the following data this is my public DNS and this is my username and I will have to get the password so let's click on the get password and you remember the file which we um, import uh, download it the PAM file so uh, I think it is my download folder I will be going in the download and this is my PAM file so let's click on that and and a private key is here so I will not be scrolling down completely for displaying the uh, private key now click on the decrypt pass password you will get a password here and you will have to copy the password so at, uh, on the previous screen I have the username and I will be getting the password once I import the PAM file so I'm stopping the video for decrypting the password all right once uh, I decrypt the password I will be getting a password here so I'm I have hidden that password for now uh, now I will have to do what I will go to the remote desktop connection and I will copy this public DNS to here and let's do that first okay now let's connect and more choices use a different account and provide your username that is administrator and here I will have to provide the password so I will be providing my password and click okay I provided the password and let's click on the yes so you will be connecting to the your EC2 Windows instance uh, through the RDP so you can have a look that I'm connecting it uh, for the first time so it is initializing everything it will take a few minutes so it's like your another computer on cloud so we have achieved our first uh, milestone for the this video series that we get an instance on the EC2 cloud all right here we have this Windows machine you can have a look that this is our Windows machine so I am on my remote 
uh, on EC2 instance which I just created. So you can have a look. Everything is fine. Let's check. It looks like same like my computer. So this computer is on the cloud. This PC. Let's check the configuration. So you can have a look that everything uh, information is written here that what is the instance size, availability zone, architecture and the memory and from. Okay, all right, so everything is configured. So we will be uh, enabling our IAS server option in our next video. So we have uh, successfully connected to our EC2 instance through the RDP. So let's meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, love is, and please like this video, share, and subscribe, love.